Hello there, my beautiful darlings. Welcome to Shintori's Comfort, where we talk fashion, beauty, and anything possibly related to the first two things that I just said. It is back to school season, and why shop at Old Navy, Ross, or even Pink when you can be just as swaggy <laughs> as Justin Bieber? <laughs> That looked a little bit shady. I didn't mean to sound shady. Drew House is a luxury streetwear brand co-founded in 2018 by Justin Bieber and his longtime friend Ryan Good, who serves as creative director. Though most of the articles I read said 2019 and I'm guessing that's based off of when they launched the clothing, officially launched the clothing. The Drew part is Justin's middle name and unironically their place of business is actually run out of a house in a San Fernando Valley in California. Other than me being an obvious fan of Justin's, I genuinely was curious about the brand and wanted to see how well they were doing because it's not as big as I thought it was going to be but it's also not that small either and I wasn't able to find any of their sales numbers or any information on how well they were doing and I'm guessing that's because the company is private and other than seeing Justin and Haley wear it around town and that one time at the Met Gala I've heard nada of course I've seen a few celebrities here and there wearing it but it's not as big as i thought it was going to be so maybe after watching this you feel more inclined to go check out what they have to offer if not well at least you know of the brand and will be a subscriber of this channel <laughs> Gian Piero de Alessandro is from a small town near Naples, Italy, and who was brought on as the brand's designer after Justin saw a few of his designs on Instagram and slid into the DMs. Gian Piero previously worked with Nike, Levi's, Netflix, and even designed for Snoop Dogg. And from what I read on the Billboard's website, he's actually been having such a great time creatively designing for Drew House and even creating characters. And apparently he also designed Justin's artwork for his single, Yummy. I do not like how that word came out. It doesn't even f yummy. And I will say that the brand's logo is actually very simple, very eye-catching, straight to the point, is very recognizable. Not bad. It's great. I like it. Though it does remind me of Walmart's old logo. I don't know if I'm too old for you young kids nowadays. I'm still young, but... <laughs> I feel like only millennials will remember this, but I remember Walmart's old logo and it used to be a smiley face. So whenever I see the logo, I do think of Drew House first because, you know, the smile line it says Drew. But I will instantly, but after that, I will think of the Walmart's, Walmart's old logo. So. so Justin is known to wear hotel slippers around town or around about. So they released their own and it quickly sold out. And I believe after from my research, from what it seems like from my research, the first clothing launch, the first clothing line launched in 2019. And it was a lot of beige. <laughs> it was a lot of beige, brown, corduroy clothing. It was very pretty. I think it kind of went a little bit viral. Um, and it was a sprinkle of yellow in there. Um, <laughs> and you know, it was just not my cup of tea. It was, you know, I, it was not that appealing to me at all. I guess I could say it's, it's possibly mostly the styling of the clothing or the way the pieces looked or put together because the color isn't bad. It was just a lot of it and it was, it didn't look that appealing and it, it was a lot. It was, didn't look that appealing. Also, you know, it was very baggy. I'm that I like baggy clothing, but I also like a little bit of fitted, you know, like this is a little bit baggy, but it's pretty kind of fitted a little bit. So I like to show off a little bit of my figure, you know, I ain't got no abs, but I love my body. Okay. <laughs> Justin is constantly seen wearing baggy clothing, so it's no surprise that Drew House also reflects that. It's just that it's giving Skater Boy. I said, see your letter boy, and he rolled away blasting Kendrick. <laughs> I don't know if he actually listens to Kendrick. I mean, I would be surprised if he doesn't, but also I just said a random, I just said a random rapper, okay? But my point is, is that, <laughs> my point is, is that it's a niche style a niche market and so I didn't expect to find anything that was appealing to me and or anything that really piqued my interest but what did pique my interest was what they were able to accomplish in such a short period of time and obviously I'm hoping to find something hello I'm wearing his merch <laughs> In 2021, they worked with Crocs to create a bundle of shoes and branded socks. 
Justin is also a huge fan of hockey, specifically the Toronto Maple Leafs, and was able to collaborate to design a reversible jersey. And I'm sure that was so exciting and cool to see your designs actually being worn by your favorite players that you admire so much and constantly see on TV or even grew up watching. So I'm sure that was a very, very fun and fulfilling moment. Drew Haas held a pop-up at Essence flagship store in Montreal, Canada, recreating their house living room in another area set up as a family photography studio, each area displaying a variety of products. You know, what was funny, I don't know if this was a goal or not, but it reminded me of Ikea. (laughs) I see all the products everywhere in a room set up and I'm like, Ikea. I don't know if that was the goal or not, but That's what I thought. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. And most recently in 2023, they held a pop-up in Hong Kong. Vincent Feng, who is the head of Drew House China, was able to launch the brand on Tmall, which is a digital marketplace in China. The product sold out quickly and the prices ranged from 58 to 291 US dollars. So the 2019 collection ranged from 28 to 300 dollars, which is not bad at all considering that there is a celebrity name attached to it. One article that I read said that the markup for the clothing went up by 250 percent on market on different marketplaces and I'm guessing that's the second hand second what is it the um resale sites yeah I think it was mostly the resale sites that went up that high because of the celebrity name attached to it and I briefly looked at the Drew House website and I stopped myself because I was like okay I need to get my raw reaction to this like recorded for you guys because you know reading that a pair of shorts costs $138 and a sweatshirt costs $90 you know I was like I need to figure this out because that that's so steep nowadays um you know no one could predict the pandemic happening nor the dreaded sky high inflation and you know it just seems crazy now to spend 138 dollars when that can give get you half of your groceries probably not even half anymore like one fourth of your groceries so I mean even then still I feel like if you're wanting to purchase something maybe the clothing because you know I don't know how well the material is so I'm sure it's pretty nice material, $138. It better be some nice material, (laughs) but I'm pretty sure it's well-made. And so, you know, if you really want a nice pair of pants or a nice sweater or shirt, or you just want something from the brand, you know, you're going to, you're going to spend the money. Okay. You're going to find somewhere to spend the money. And according to an article that quoted Vogue Business, Drew House's annual sales climbed over 200% since 2019 now like i said i have not been able to find any other sales numbers since they launched at all so take this information with a grain of salt because i don't know where they got their information from and i also am not about to subscribe to no form of magazine or article so i don't know how they got this information so I also saw a few articles comparing the style of clothing to Kanye's Yeezy brand. And I can see where they got the connections because Justin is obviously inspired by hip hop, hip hop culture. He's kind of, I don't know if he's close with Kanye now, but <laughs> but the time that he was, you know, they're const- they were seen together a few times. But also, I think the big difference between the two brands is one Kanye's Yeezy brand actually had some fitted clothing, you know, <laughs> had some fitted clothing along with pairing it with a little bit more looser pieces, a little bit more baggier pieces, as well as the color palette was more muted, is more of a muted tone. While Drew House's big thing is about freedom of expression and bringing the joy and laughter and fun and that is more often than not an indicator of a bolder color palette and with a little bit of fun funky patterns so and I expect to see that from what the photos I've seen so far about the brand I do expect to see that and I'm very like this is an anticipation for me to see this website okay (laughs) I'm anxiously waiting. I don't know why I'm nervous to look at this website because I I really want to find something that I would be like, okay, I want to be able to save up and actually purchase this. So hopefully, you know, because Justin's, because I feel like Justin has really nice, like his 
um, merchandise for his music and his tours have I li- I really like them I really like them I'm sorry I'm really stumbling over my words I'm trying to calculate what I'm trying to say because <laughs> I really like the way his merch looks for his tours and different singles or songs that he releases it's really nice most recently I saw um yeah most recently he had released merch for peaches and I thought wow. it was so cute and <sighs> I couldn't buy any I'm broke right now lord help me but um it looked really cute and I really wanted I just really wanted some so hopefully I can find something that I like so let's get started let me not let me stop stalling let's get to it this is what you guys came for this is what you came here for came here came here came here for that's what you came here came here for Before we get started though, I would like to let you guys know that the clothing is not just sold on the Drew House's The Brand's website. You can also shop the brand on Essence and the in marketplaces like StockX and Grailed. Grailed, right? I think I'm saying that right. Grailed. I'll put it up on the screen. (laughs) Hopefully I've spelled this company's name right. Okay. But let's look at the website. Oh my god, I'm so nervous for this. Well, I guess you can see what I've been. Yeah, I'm on Disney Plus. I'm watching Fitty and some Verb. What the heck? What is this? Oh no, I don't want to sign up for anything. It's cool that they have an app though. All right, we're on the Drew House website. What are these pants? These pants look up two hundred. Two hundred, girl, child, child, two hundred. Ooh, what is it made out of? carpenter painted indigo and then they have sizing like pack sun so that's fascinating okay it's good to see that it's 100 percent cotton hold on it, why won't my thing let me scroll oh my gosh why does this nitty gritty um okay y'all i'm looking at this without glasses okay so it's, be mindful i'm trying <laughs> help a sister out because some because you know everything's a little bit fuzzy but um let's see it's 100 percent cotton fits true to size with carpenter details um let's see painted indigo wash distressing at knees imported the pants aren't imp- they're imported i thought it was made in a is it not made in la or the u.s is that too expensive sterling wear size is 32 okay sila oh they actually put their names on there that's kind of cool but these people are short five nine five seven how does it fit on them oh my gosh wait which one is sterling oh jeez. They're shorts. I'm five. Y'all, I'm five eleven. I should not have expected none of this. I shouldn't even expect these pants to fit. If I if I find a six foot person on here that's wearing these clothes, then I will believe that these will that these that these. <laughs> what language is that? What accent is that, bro? Then I will believe that this could fit me. But right now, I'm just not seeing it. Okay. Um. Let's see. Classic cotton denim woven from mid. Midway and durable fabric that softens with wear available in wide leg tapered and carpenter fits across a palette of 90s inspired colors and washes since when did you ever question denim? Okay, these quirky little things. It's just I don't care. I just want to look at the clothing. <laughs> I don't look at the clothing, but I get like the Brent bro 250 for some mud on my pants bro hold on i need to click at one of these pants this is ridiculous i mean like they look okay how tall is she oh wait who's six one eric which one is eric jada is eric eric right here why is eric turned around eric turned to the front oh no i don't like the bottom i don't like the roof the fringe at the bottom that's ugly to me i don't like that Especially since it drags on the floor. I don't know. That's not my taste. It's just not my taste. Oh, this reminds me of Torchies. <laughs> Yo, I want a taco. Maybe Drew House Torchies collab. 
<laughs> bro what wait hold on i want credit for this idea yo hold on is this girl wearing flames Wait, this is also giving race car driver. Ooh, Moto Mami and Moto Mami collection. <gasps> Do a Rosalia collab. That would be kind of cool, especially since she also takes a lot of information from like the Roman and Greek mythology and architecture. I love Greek mythology and the Roman architecture. Oh, I love it. Okay, but let's see. Um, I don't even know. Oh, I didn't even check the sizing chart. Let me let's check the sizing chart together. Um, okay. Whoa, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Okay, this is taking me back to fashion school. Not fashion school. My, well, I guess fashion design class in high school. I took fashion design in high school, so I know a little bit of what I'm talking about. Okay, so don't talk about me. People are gonna talk about you anyway. Whoa, hold on. Waist? What? Okay, so if any of you are knowledgeable in measurements, if you're a seamstress, a tailor, doing anything in the fashion world, please comment down below to help a sister out to figure out how to measure herself because this is ridiculous. I'm so confused. I really appreciate it. And it's $250. I'm confused and it's $250. Bruh. <laughs> oh my God, wait. Wait, they need an imp. See, this is because I'm tall. I need in person stores. I know people shop online nowadays, but because I'm not understanding none of this right now, what's 20? What is it? I need an in person store. I need to be able to see it. I guess I need to go one, go to where they're selling it. I guess if there is an in person store that sells Drew House, maybe I'll go check it out. I do like the descriptions though of the what they did to the pants and everything so you actually know i love that it's 100 percent cotton saving the planet one pair of clothing at a time um let's see oh i like this hat my brother would like this hat 40. that's not bad i can see someone spending 40 for a hat for merch like regular merch like from an album or something so that's fine 100 y'all i'm about to cry i feel tears welling up is it because i'm broke too i think that's what it is <laughs> ah! why am i stuck on pants you know, it's a struggle for a tall person to find pants, okay? Okay, wait, wait, who's, what's this guy's name? I love this sweater. <gasps> I love this sweater. <gasps> I love this sweater. It's giving golden girls. I can see Rose wearing this. I love golden girls. This is not even what I came on here for. But these pants, hold on. How do you figure out the size? What size is he wearing? Cause he has a, he's wearing size medium. Do I need to try medium? Maybe I need a medium. Cause guy sizing is so different. All right, y'all decisions, decisions. Which one should we go to next? Um, what's the difference between tops and tees? What's the difference? Well, I was about to say, well, they're sweatshirts, but they're separate. What's the difference between a top and a tee? Can y'all tell me what's the difference between a top and a tee? Let's go tops. Maybe tops is more. No, this is okay. No, sir. No, sir. But this is a nice shirt though. I'm not going to act. No, this is a nice shirt. Oh, it reminds me of my button up that I have. I forgot what it's for. I forgot what it's called, but I got it from, I think I got it from pretty little thing. I think I don't know where I got it from. I mean, I'll, I'll show you right here. This is what it looks like. This is what I got. But it reminds me of that. And I love it. I love the designer. It looks like a nice shirt, though. I can't, you know, I'm sitting here clowning. But I'm, <laughs> but I'm like, this is a nice shirt. Your Valley tuxedo shirt. Well, I wouldn't say tuxedo. But it's a nice shirt. It's a nice little button up. Like a little casual. Like if you're trying to go say hi to the fam and... Or meet your meet your partner's parents for the first time and it's the cookout i can see you wearing this buttoned up with some other different pair of jeans if it's not too hot outside huh this looks thick oversized drop shoulder fit raw hem oh it's a raw hem oh i don't like it anymore i don't like raw hems because then i feel like the moment you wash it it'll just start fringing so maybe what does that look like oh no it's just literally raw is there like a stitching on it? Okay, there is a little stitch. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is a little bit of stitch right here. So 
maybe it won't fringe up, but I don't know. That's not, I don't, I, no bueno to me. That's no bueno. I don't like that. Okay, one more area. Let's see. Let's look at outerwear. Oh, I should have looked at his ex, his ex, whoa. Moto mommy! It reminds me of a, I think my biker little jacket that I have in my closet. Vintage color block. It's nice. I like it. It's giving cowboy also. And your girl is from Texas. So, it just hit my headphones. How much is it again? 350. Let me think about that for a second. How does he do sizing for jackets? Wait, I don't I'm not understanding this ch size chart. Maybe because I never had a tailor. I just get the biggest size because I have broad shoulders. And these are moments when I would just go to the actual physical store. All right. So, I'm not going to bore you guys anymore with this. <laughs> oh, there's one more, one more, one more. Okay, accessories. Hats. Oh! Look at the heart! That's it? What is this? Drew House scented candle in the middle of the valley? What the heck? That's random. Alright. 55? How big is this? You know, I have this Valentine's Day look going on here, so it would fit perfectly. <laughs> it would fit perfectly. I unironically have this. Bro, this is Torchies. I'm I'm gonna get I want a taco. I want a taco now. Give me Torchies tacos. I love stuffed animals, but this is really cute. I actually love this whole outfit. I, I would wear this. I would wear this whole thing. Just minus the slippers. I'm happy to find a few pieces that I actually do like. All right, final thoughts. I recorded this the same day, but I feel like the only thing I made clear was how serious I was about finding the right pair of pantalones. <laughs> I think I like Drew House. Um, I would categorize it as the 90s 2000s type of r&b hip-hop clothing similar to like uh, baby fat or juicy couture to other clothing brands that i have spoken about the history of and they will be linked at the end of this video um it's i don't know i feel that i could also see people who are into skateboarding dirt biking if you also enjoy watching monster trucks if you like watching or just doing the sports of any of those i can see you being interested in this brand i mean which i am i i love monster trucks um i love going to monster jam i used to watch i think it was called x games or something i don't know what it was called i think people were riding bikes and doing tricks and stuff i don't know i think it was called x games but i watched it when i was little so so long ago i don't remember but i do remember watching it <laughs> one thing i know key thing for me this is a very much personal thing. I don't know how many of you also feel the same way, but I, I enjoy wearing baggy clothing, but whenever I do wear it, I'm mostly wearing it indoors. I'm not typically wearing it outside unless it's cold outside, which means the clothing is thick. And I don't know, I think it's because I am from Texas. I'm from a hot state. I recently moved, I'm in the desert now. But even then, like I think of wearing thick pieces of clothing, I'm like, ugh. <laughs> Anything that looks too baggy or too thick, I'm, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Like, I like a breezy shirt, but not necessarily pants. So I feel that's the one thing that kind of, it is not really my thing, personal thing. Unless I'm going for it, like in a, like if I'm trying to channel my inner Aaliyah, then, you know, that's, that's where I'm going. I think the key thing is I like more fitted clothing. And that doesn't mean like skinny, like, everything's like super tight i just mean like fitted clothing the one that hugs my body just right and like i had compared it earlier to kanye's yeezy brand he has <laughs> fitted clothing and i know that drew house is trying to be uh i guess is more unisex and i understand why they would also go towards the more baggier pieces of clothing doesn't mean I won't like that red outfit I loved that outfit I love that outfit and if I was going for that particular look I would you know I have a whole vision in my head of how I would wear that outfit <laughs> I have a whole vision in my head so I would wear it it would just be you know I would have to be in the mood for that I say this also because I can envision like I can see how nice the logo the Drew logo would the Drew House logo, just the Drew part, would look on a crop top, like a fitted crop top with the thick straps, like a thick one. Maybe Haley can help you out with that. <laughs> but I can envision the Drew logo as a crop top, a fitted top, a tube top. I can, I can see it and I think it will look really, really nice. And so I will, hopefully they're planning on making that because that's why 
I'm like, I can, I would buy that. I would buy that. I would, I would buy that. <laughs> I would buy that. You have a customer who is asking for this. I'm, I don't know how many would want this, but I know I would, especially if I want to have my Leah girl moment. I want to be able to get a jacket, some baggy pants and a fitted shirt and be like, uh, 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 uh. This is for the Jeep, strictly for the Jeep. Like I, I need this moment. So provide it. <laughs> I say I think I like Drew House. I really, I really want to like it because right now it's at a, I guess if I were to rate it, ratings really don't matter all that much. But if you can, just so you guys know where my headspace is at with the brand, like I love it, like constantly coming back to this to not my taste. I would put it like a, I would rate it a 5.5 on my scale you know it's average but it's like slightly above average and i think once they start including if they start including two tops or fitted clothing or any crop tops or anything then i would move it up to a seven a solid good seven i would be purchasing items from this like i would come back i would be a regular purchaser of this brand and i know i constantly brought up the pricing honestly it's not that bad to me it really isn't 350 is is still pretty steep for (laughs) no i'm not that does not mean i still don't think 150 is a lot for a pair of pants i'm just saying if i can't feel it then I'm like, okay, then this seems crazy to me. But if I'm able to feel the clothing, like physically see it, then I'm like, oh, okay, I can I can see how this would cost this much. Okay, it feels really, really nice. Because I also love, um, what is it? Like Adrian's brand, La Voute. I would say that's a, La Voute is a luxury, yeah, a, lu- a luxury loungewear brand. She also has um, a vegan what is a vegan purse line too i forgot what that one's called but um yeah i would compare it to that with the pricing because i would i bought i bought items from lavoot so (laughs) it's not that bad to me it's just if i it's one of those like i want to treat myself type of things it's not stupid expensive like these other luxury brands i feel like it's like mid tier type of this is like my regular type of luxury this is what i would buy like a regular if i could afford these nicer pieces it's in that category of expensive i also recommend that you check that one out it is so nice (laughs) so if you found anything that you liked on the website or feel more encouraged to check it out go check it out i highly encourage you do check out my other fashion content right here and i pray you all have a blessed rest of your day and remember to find comfort in being yourself